Okay, so this is Derek J. Freeman here, and I am here with Stephanie. And how do you like to be known? Um, I'm Stephanie Murphy. <laughs> okay. And so you've been a part of the Free State Project since 2006, is that right? That's correct. Well, I guess I was a part of it before that, but I moved to New Hampshire in 2006. Okay, and how did you hear about the Free State Project? Actually, I heard about it from a friend by word of mouth. My friend was the first libertarian friend that I had ever had at the point I was in college and uh, kind of at a transitional time in my life. And uh, it was about 2003, I think, and New Hampshire had just been picked as the place where the Free State Project was going to take place. And I went on the website and read about it, and I was like, yeah, sign me up. I oh. have nothing tying me down where I was in Massachusetts, and I had actually thought about moving to New Hampshire anyway before that because I thought of New Hampshire as a freer place. You know, I knew it had no sales tax and no income tax, and that was the extent of pretty much what I thought. But I had I had thought maybe someday I'd like to move to New Hampshire anyway, so um, it just was a natural fit. Okay, well, it sounds like liberty was a big part of your life before the move. Yes, um, yeah, and it was. Is there anything uh, liberty-oriented that has surprised you once you got to New Hampshire that you weren't expecting? Um, yes, I think what surprised me was the changes that I saw um, over the past five years that I've lived here. So I moved, into, I moved to New Hampshire in June of 2006, and right now it's September 2011, <clears throat> so a little more than five years. And when I first moved here, there were very few free staters, and there were a couple of meetups that would go on, and people would literally drive from all across New Hampshire just to meet up with other like-minded people. And of course, in Massachusetts, there was pretty much no one to meet up with any, in the first place. And, you know, I think the inter internet is making it easier these days, but back when I lived there, there was no libertarian meetup. There was nothing, uh, you know, nothing going on to that effect. So when I got to New Hampshire, I was just really shocked at the community and the level of people who were willing to, you know, drive up from Keene up to Lebanon to meet with other free staters. But over time, so many more people came to New Hampshire that it became increasingly localized and there was no need to drive from Keene to Lebanon just to do a, a meetup. You know, it was, it was like there were people in your area who you would see almost every day or every day even and socialize with at all times who were free seaters and shared the ideas of liberty. So I think the thing, to answer your original question, Derek, was that the thing that I wasn't prepared for was the, uh, the size and the scope of the community here. Do you spend most of your time with free staters? Yeah, most of my friends are free staters. You know, a couple of acquaintances, I guess, outside of it, but uh, pretty much all of my best friends share the ideas of liberty. You have a radio show. Mm -hmm. Did you have that radio show before you moved here, or is that a project you started here? No, nope, that is a project that I started here. Um, what inspired that? Well, actually, this is an interesting story. Um, when I first moved to New Hampshire, I kind of thought of myself as someone who didn't like the concept of government at all, but I thought that political activism was really like the only option. And this was back in 2006 and 7. And so at first, when I first moved here, I kind of got involved with some of the political stuff, but quickly I realized that that really was not serving my needs and I wasn't, I wasn't feeling good from it. I wasn't getting accomplished the things that I wanted to do. And I saw just really slow progress and it, it felt terrible. So I kind of jumped off of that bandwagon and I thought about it a little bit. I didn't do any activism for a while and just took some time to think about it. And I thought, well, there's kind of three things I could do. Politics, which I don't want to do. Uh, civil disobedience, which I'm a little scared. I don't want to do that either. And uh, outreach. And so I settled on outreach because I enjoy communicating to people. And I had been writing before. I'd written for Lou Rockwell for a number of years, lourockwell.com. And I had a number of other liberty-oriented essays and stuff that I had written. And I thought, well... I like communicating ideas, and some people say I have a nice voice, so I should get into doing some radio. So I started a podcast. It was called Pork Therapy, and uh, it still exists a couple of years later. I started that in 2009, I think. And uh, two years later, it's now a live radio show on the Liberty Radio Network, which is another thing that sprung up that wasn't there at first. 
And uh, we basically talk about personal freedom, achieving as much personal freedom as we can in our lives and relationships uh, with other people, communication, that kind of thing. So, and you can find that at PORCtherapy.com. Poor Therapy is my show. And uh, it's on live every Friday evening from 10 p.m. to midnight on the Liberty Radio Network. And now, another thing that I undertook as part of this outreach uh, activism was co-hosting Free Talk Live. Um, and I started doing that in about around 2010. And, you know, I think part of the reason that I had the opportunity to do that was because Mark and Ian were both so gracious and uh, kind to me to be able to allow me to be on their show. <laughs> but it, it kind of spiraled out of control very quickly. There used to be this Sunday internet-only show that I would host once a month. And then eventually they changed the format and Mark asked me to be his partner on the Sunday show. So now it's actually a radio show. It's moved from internet-only to radio. And it's hosted by Mark and myself every Sunday night. So there's Free Talk Live, there's Pork Therapy, and I also uh, appear on Prometheus Unchained, the LGBT talk radio show that was recently started as well. Um, Where can people learn about that? Flamingfreedom.com. Oh, One of wonderful. my favorite shows. I enjoy listening to it as well as uh, co-hosting. And I know Derek is also part of both Free Talk Live and Prometheus Unchained as well. So yeah, lots of exciting... Um, lots of exciting media opportunities um you know there are blogs there are tv shows there are radio shows and podcasts and um art and videos that people produce and all kinds of stuff um and i think you know as time has gone on i've thought about this a lot like where do i want to focus my energies as an activist and i think that really the way that we're going to see change is when people actually embrace the ideas of liberty and when they have this philosophical kind of backbone for um, understanding freedom. And the way to achieve that, in my opinion, there are many different ways, but media um, can be a very effective one. And so that's why I chose to, uh, to do those projects. And plus it's fun. <laughs> I can't lie. Well, <laughs> is there anything you would want new movers to know if there are people considering a move to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project? Are there any words of advice you would have for them? Um, for people who are considering a move to the Free State Project, my advice is uh, sometimes it seems like in life that there's never a good time to do it, but just do it, you know, get your ducks in a row and move, and I think you'll really be glad that you did. I mean, it, I can't describe how different my life is living here than it was in Massachusetts. I was lonely, I had very few friends, couldn't find a libertarian to date to save my life in Massachusetts, and now coming here, it's just, there's no shortage of people uh, who are kindred spirits and who share the ideas. And you know, some of them you may have disagreements with, some of them might become your best friends, but <clears throat> at least there's a community here who's available um, for people who are interested in the ideas of liberty. And uh, as far as logistics of moving to New Hampshire, there are a lot of good resources. I would say my number one recommendation is, if you're thinking about moving here, come to Porkfest or come to Liberty Forum and meet some people in the community. And then do some networking. Get on the social networks, Facebook, um, Google+, get on the forums at freekeen.com or other places, and just find some way to kind of link yourself in, and you'll get all kinds of tips that will help you with your move. You'll get people hosting you uh, if you come to visit. You'll have people telling you information about different cities or anything you really want to know. There's also the Porcupine 411 system. Um, you can call a voicemail line and a bunch of people will get the message and may even call you back. <laughs> so there are lots of ways <clears throat> excuse me, to get linked in um, with the community. And I think that is, that's key to doing even before you get here. Um, but if, if it's never too late at the same time. If you come to New Hampshire and you don't know anyone, it's never too late to start getting networked with them as well. Because really the community is what makes it so, so cool. Where can people learn more about Stephanie Murphy? <laughs> uh, you can go to PORCtherapy.com. That's my radio show. And um, you can probably find me on social networks, Facebook and Google+. Plus. Um, I don't know a great way to give out my URLs, but just search for me. I'm sure you'll come across me if you are looking for Liberty Community stuff. Thank you. Thanks, Derek.